Salon division by a one-digit, two-digit, or three-digit divisor. And some are going to have remainders and some won't. So let's start at the very beginning. If we have a problem like this, where we need to divide 8 by 2, this is the dividend, that's the divisor, we ask ourselves, how many times can 2 fit into 8? Well, 2 times 4 is 8. We do this one to this one. 2 times 4 is 8, and we write it here and we subtract it from the dividend. We get a 0, so our remainder is 0. All right, let's take this a step up. Now we have 84 divided by 2. We ask ourselves, how many times can 2 fit into the 8? 4 times. 2 times 4 is 8. We subtract it. We get a 0, don't we? Now it's the 4's turn to drop down. We ask ourselves, how many times 2 can fit into this 4? So what we're doing is we're pretending that this part of the problem is gone, and it's almost as if we're doing 2 goes into 4 now. See? We're just doing it here. 2 goes into 4 2 times. 2 times 2 is 4, and we subtract it, and we get a 0. So, 2 goes into 84 42 times. See? With 0 left over. All right, let's take it another step. Now we're going to see how many times 2 can fit into 83. Well, we know it goes into the 8 4 times, and we do the 2 times 4, and we get our 8 and subtract it, and we get a 0, so we don't really have to put anything there. Now it's the 3's turn to come down. 2 goes into 3 1 time. 2 times 1 is 2. We subtract it, and we have 1 left over, so we have remainder 1. So what we're doing up here is, once we figure out how many times it can fit into that number, we are then multiplying these, see, and subtracting that amount. All right, let's take it one step further. 2 goes into 15. How many times? 15 divided by 2. Can the 2 fit into the 1? Nope. So our answer is going to go above the 5 because we're it won't fit into 1, so we're going to have to fit the 2 into the 15. 2 goes into 15 7 times because 2 times 7 is 14. See? We're multiplying this and subtracting it. We have 1 left over, so we have a remainder of 1. What if we put a 2 at the end of our dividend? 2 goes into 152 how many times? Well, it doesn't fit into the 1, so our answer is not going to go above the 1. We know it fits into the 15 7 times because 2 times 7 is 14. We do our subtraction and get a 1, and now it's this 2's turn to come down. So 2 fits into 12 how many times? 6. We put the answer above the 2 that we dropped down, and now we're going to multiply these together. See? Sorry for my bad handwriting. We subtract the 12 from the 6 times 2. We get a 0, so we have a remainder of 0. See? Let's take it one step further. Now instead of 152, we've got 1,525. So, we ask ourselves, can 2 fit into 1? No. So there's nothing here. We don't have anything above the 1 because we're not putting 2 into the 1. We're putting it into the 15. 2 goes into 15 7 times. When we multiplied it, we got a 14. We subtracted that and got a 1. Now it's this 2's turn to come down. 2 fits into 12 6 times because 2 times 6 is 12. We do our subtraction and get a 0, and now it's this 5's turn to come down. See? 2 goes into 5 2 times, and 2 times 2 is 4. We subtract it and get a 1, and we have a remainder of 1. So every time we ask how many times the 2 can fit into that new amount, that new dividend, 
we figure out how many times it can fit in, and then we multiply it by that and subtract it, okay? Let's keep going. Now we've got two digits. Now we're going to try to fit 21 into 84. Can 21 fit into 8? Nope. So we're not going to put our answer above the 8. Can 21 fit into 84? Yes. So we're going to put our answer above the 4 for the 84 to show that we're doing the whole 84. Do a little multiplication on the side. We see that 21 times 4 is 84. So we put the 4 up here and 21 times 4 is 84. We subtract it and get a 0. We have a remainder of 0. Now what if it wasn't 84? What if it was an 82? How many times can 21 fit into 8? None. So the answer isn't going up here. How many times can 21 fit into 82? Well, we do a little multiplication on the side and see that 21 times 3 is 63. But we know 21 times 4 is 84, and that's too big. So we're going to have to go with the 3. So we put a 3 up here. We do the 21 times 3, and we get our 63 and subtract it from the 82. And we have to regroup, don't we? This becomes a 7. That becomes a 12. We get 19. So we have a remainder of 19. This 21 can't fit into that, so that's our remainder. All right? Let's try going one step bigger. Now, instead of going into 82, let's try fitting it into 822. Well, 21 can't fit into 8, so we're not putting our answer here. 21 fits into 82 three times. We saw that from the previous problem. When we do 21 times 3, we get 63. We subtract it and get our 19. And it's now the 2's turn to come down. 21 can't fit into 19, so the 2 comes down. 21 goes into 192 how many times? We do a little math on the side. We try 21 times 8. Well, that's 168. 21 times 9 is 189. That's really close to 192. So we're going to go with the one that's the closest to it, the 9. So 21 times 9 is 189. We subtract it and get a 3. We have a remainder of 3. All right. Let's go to three digits. Now, instead of 21, we have 214, and we're going to fit it into 428. How many times can 214 fit into 4? None. So we're not putting our answer up here. How many times can 214 fit into 42? None. So we're not putting our answer up here either. Can 214 fit into 428? Yep. So we're going to put our answer above the 8. If we do a little math on the side, we see that 214 times 2 is 428. So we multiply this and subtract it, and we get a remainder of 0. See? Now, instead of 428, what if we had 4,288? Okay? So, we ask ourselves again, can 214 fit into 4? No. So the answer doesn't go above the 4. Can 214 fit into 42? No. So it doesn't go above the 2. But we know it can fit into the 428 two times. And we do the 214 times 2 and get 428. We subtract it and get a 0. And now it's the 8's turn to come down. How many times can 214 fit into 8? None. So we're going to put a 0 up here. And 0 times 214 is 0. We subtract it and we get an 8. So our answer is 20 with a remainder of 8. All right? Let's try one a little bigger. So now instead of 4,288, we've got 42,885 with a three-digit. Okay? So we know that 214 times 2 is going to give us our 428, right? We know it can't fit into the 4, it can't fit into the 2, so we're not writing our answer here. It's fitting into the 428, so we're writing our 2 here. When we do the multiplication, we get 428, we subtract it, we get a 0 here, and it's the 8's turn to come down. When we ask ourselves, how many times can 214 fit into the 8? 0 times, so we put a 0 above the 8. 214 times 0 is 0, we subtract it. We get an 8. Now it's the 5's turn to come down. 
How many times can 214 fit into 85? Zero still. So we put another zero above the five. And zero times 214 is zero. We do our subtraction and we have a remainder of 85. See? Now, did you know the remainder can be written as the numerator and the divisor as the denominator? For this one, we've got 200 remainder 85, and our divisor was 214. This is the numerator, that's the denominator. So we can say the answer is 285 214 ths. That's the numerator, that's the denominator. See? So we can write the quotient as a fraction without the little r. This one would be 20 and 8 214 ths. That's the numerator, that's the denominator. And this can, they're both even, so we know we can simplify this to 4 107 ths. 20 and 4 107 ths. See? This one's got a remainder of 0, so the answer is just 2. Can you figure out what this one would be with the remainder of 3 if that's the numerator and that's the denominator? We'd have 39 and 3 over 21, wouldn't we? 3 21st. Now, we can simplify that more to 39 and 1 7th. See? Look at this one. We've got 3 remainder 19. So this can be 3 and 19 over 21, written as a fraction for our quotient. It's a mixed number. This one has a remainder of 0, so the answer is just 4. This one is 762 remainder 1, so we can write this as 762. The remainder is the numerator, the divisor is the denominator, we have 762 and a half. See? And it's kind of easy to remember which one's the numerator and which one's the denominator because this one's higher up than this one, isn't it? Because he's up here above this division line. See? How about this one? This one's got a remainder of 0, so the answer is just 76. But what about this one? This one would be 7 and a half as a quotient. 7 remainder 1, we write the 1 as a numerator, the 2 as the denominator. See? This one would be 41 and a half. There's the numerator, there's the denominator. Writing the quotient as a mixed number. See? So hopefully that helps some of you with a little review or cleared up any questions you have when there's zeros. Okay? You just drop, put a zero above that number and drop the next number down. And if it's still a zero, you put another zero. You could keep going and going, all right? Now, there's also ways to keep going by adding a decimal and some zeros. And if you want to know more about line division, just check the description and there'll be links to other videos, all right? Including with decimals and stuff, all right? I hope this helped you, and I'll see you next video. Bye.